Hello, Joy here. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. When we last left off, we were, well, overcumbered, but let's keep on walking. Uh, I traveled to another safe uh, sanctuary, not safe zone. Well, it is a safe zone, but uh, we went into the sunken cavern. I don't know the name exactly, but I was here because I was walking around just a little bit in that new area just to check it out which uh, path uh, I should take not to wander around endlessly again. But I picked up one item accidentally and I thought well this isn't an important item. Well you can never guess of course. But it was something I was looking for for quite some time. It's an ember idol. And this is a waxy pungent idol of Ember Listen. Ember Listen is as precious as it is rare, are said to be vomited up from the bellies of the great kraken. Can be used as a transmutation material. And with this guy here, you can transmute your weapons. And I've seen this for quite a time and I've shown it off a, a few times. But as you can see, I can transmute a weapon now. And I was looking for what was the best thing to do because I do want to do this and there are the here the Queen of Smiles ear uh, the raffle dead bindings those are all boss items so I can do a couple of transmutations and it looks like this one is the best for me because it has a, a, a strength scaling it it weighs a little bit heavier but the jaws of death 4 as 34 to 100 to 6 and the B scaling with strength this one has a D scaling and only goes to 98.9. .9. And this goes from a C scaling and this seems to be a little bit of raw damage. But it is still even heavier. So I was looking like this is 100.6 plus, plus, but I think the scaling will outweigh that 7 damage. But I don't know, the Chitin Obelisk or the Jaws of Death and the Obelisk sounds way more awesome and it's a class 2 greatsword this is a grand scissor all right um i'm not gonna go with a scissor then i'm going with the obelisk let's just do this uh maybe i'll screw up my entire build now but i can always buy another kurama from the vendor now so let's see what this does the the chitin obelisk 4 so now my weapon looks like this. Christ. <laughs> Hello, great sword. It is a little bit uh, fuzzy around the edges of the weapon. So yeah, I got a lot of uh, salt. I got a lot of gold. And I'm going to travel back to where we were. Because I do believe I had a blacksmith over there. Travel to... No, not the sunken keep. It was this. The Hager's Cavern. That's it. The Hager's Cavern. So yeah, uh, I got one Traveler, I got one... This is the normal item shop. Let's see if we can upgrade it. And I, I have to upgrade it with an Enduring Skull. I haven't seen that item yet. Yeah, I am upgrading this sword too, just because I maybe I wanted to upgrade that weapon or transmute it all right so i can't upgrade it any further because i do have to have a special weapon see this is the weapon i had before the strength scaling s but i could always buy it again and upgrade it again because there is a merchant which sells upgrade materials now but for now uh let's see if i that's some uh, a little strange mechanic in this game. If I'm two-handing my sword, my shield doesn't count to my equip burden. But if I equip my shield like this, then suddenly I'm overcumbered. You can see here I have 75 of 66.5. And that's because I... Uh, well, this sword is of course heavier. And the shield is quite heavy too. And I'm wearing the steel uh, set offhand. And I up upgraded them to plus two yesterday. I was a little bit... Just uh, grinding just a little bit, just uh, walking around here. Get a little bit of feel of the area. Um, let's level up, just all the way. It's five levels, so we can see if we can ha uh, buy some equipment burden. Because I believe there was a shield upgrade, or did I already buy that one? I already got this one. 
I can always just uh, do that and upgrade them all. Let's see, this is a class 4 great sword. Alright, this cost me 4. So yeah, my attack increases. Yeah, let's just buy this one because we can now. And then upgrade, let's see. I'm trying to move forward to go to the class 5, just because, uh, in case I need it. Like I said in the last episode, I uh, figured out that these little white spots you can see here, they're not very clear, but you can upgrade each, uh, each icon here uh, three times. So now I got a little bit more equipment that I still can't use my shield. So maybe it's handy to do this. And then even then it's too heavy. Um, yeah, what can I do? Uh, how much is this away? 10.8, 13.8. Uh, maybe I just shouldn't, shouldn't. Uh, well, do, don't I have a ring that increases my I thought I had one that increases my... Yeah, increases endurance. I already have that equipped. So we can't use my shield at the moment. And by how many? Wait, start. Only by 1.8. So just one more level and then I can equip my shield. So I'm gonna unequip it now for this episode. And uh, I have to level up one, so I just need a little bit of salt. So last time we came from down here, we walked up here and of course straight to the sanctuary. And let's try out this weapon of course, because well, it fights the same as the, the, the sword I had. Well, stop teleporting asshole. Christ, they are annoying. Come on, get over here. Come on. Just a little bit more salt and then I have enough for an upgrade. So let's kill some enemies here. I get 206. Hello. Ooh. Hey, I have the same sword as him. Whoa, that's stagger. Nice. Alright, let's head straight back. Let's upgrade my endurance just one more point. Maybe I'll just have enough to equip my shield. There's an item over there, and another one of those guys. Two skeletons with clubs. Come on, get up there. Get up! Yes, thank you. Yeah, I have trouble jumping. Look, to the right there. There's that NPC once again. Alright, so let's level up. Level up. Yes, I wanna level up. It cost me 7000, so I could grind a little and then, of course, get another point. Uh, let's just get one endurance point. Let's get this one. So now I have 71, and I believe that's just about enough. Yeah, no? Ah, 0.03. <laughs> just one more level and then I can equip my shield again all right yeah so let's explore the the cavern that's uh, about it for today and let's try to find uh, upgrade materials for this sword hello again Ah, I got stun locked into it. Alright, he's dead. Uh, let's heal. I got seven of them, so that's fine. Yeah, two hits staggers him. And about four or five hits kills him. So yeah, quite a amount of salt. Hello guys. Yeah. I don't care. Just wait, he jumped out of his well, out of the ground, that's fine. I can parry while two-handing my sword like this. But I do like parrying in this game. The Corsair back sword. I believe that was uh, available to buy, actually. And it's a B-scaling, strength scaling. Corsair black sword. It's a saber. Ah, 
It's pretty cool. If you want to go fast, then that's the weapon for you. But I'm going medium with uh, about everything. I'm going medium with defense, medium with rolling, but high attack power. Stop screaming. Yes. And that's how I'm going to play Dark Souls 3, which is almost here. A stone mage. I always like to uh, mid-roll, like uh, medium armor, medium build, and then uh, go just with a sword, I believe. Is this part of the background, or can I jump up there? Uh, oh well. I should be able to get up there, but... It looks like you can jump here, but... Come on, jump from the edge. Jump. Yeah. And this is kind of hard to see if it's... Yeah, I believe it's a wall. Uh, yeah, I'm first going up. Back and up. I believe I get to... Is this a door? Yes. Locked. I believe I can get to the item we saw when we left the sanctuary, yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna wait till this bridge reappears, because uh, if that guy hits me, I get flown back. And let's first... This weapon does have a lot of power to it. It, it staggers uh, enemies quite easily. Miss, dude. Bye, dude. Yeah, I like the sword. And golden stone charm. I am still wielding charm that does fire damage, but adds lightning damage to your attacks. I'm always uh, favorable to fire, but just for a little bit of a change, I'm going to equip the lightning one. In games or in RPGs, if I can get a fire buff, I'm always going to get a fire buff. But it doesn't reduce my damage and do still do 103. Uh, don't forget, I can wall jump. A couple items. Charred doll, which is used for fire upgrades. What the hell are those attacks? They didn't have the chance to attack yet, so... Bye. 206. Like I said, I don't know if the weapon does strike more damage than the quarter mine. Maybe I can check my footage and then uh, see it. I still have to edit the, the previous episode. But you guys won't know the difference because this way you see this episode, the other one is already up, of course. Yeah, I'm just taking my time with this game. Just uh, playing about every day, just a little bit, just an hour or two. Uh, I'm gonna finish this up before Dark Souls 3 hits, or even before Quantum Break hits, because a friend of mine bought uh, Quantum Break, I bought Dark Souls 3. So yeah, I have about a week to finish Quantum Break for me. Oh, asshole. And then I'm gonna take my sweet time and no life the hell out of Dark Souls 3. A Palatine set. Whoa, that looks pretty cool. Palatine's shield. Which I probably can equip. It's lighter, actually. Yeah, and it's not that good, but I could use this while two-handed. I like the design of it. The Palatine Kite Shield. And a Palatine Set. Which is of course worse. But I do like the I do like the look of it. Let's see, the gauntlets. Palatine gauntlets. They, those are of course better because I'm not wearing any of them. Leather gauntlets reinforced with chainmail worn by the paladins serving the Order of Devara. They protect the hands from cuts and nicks as well as more serious info bladed weapons. Let's see how the whole set looks. Palatine Grievous. And I do have a hat. Yeah, I don't like the design of the hats. Yeah, it's, it's a decent set. I like it. But it's unupgraded, of course, and this is way stronger. It's way heavier, but it's way stronger. So yeah, uh, back to the steel. Maybe I can equip the steel and then still two-hand my... Wait, I don't want the shield. Yeah, if I'm not going uh, 
if I'm going shieldless, then I can also go with more armor. All right. Can I open this? No, it's still locked. I don't have the key. Uh, I'll probably have to find the key or defeat a boss. Did I came from? Come? Did I came from here? Come from here. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Dark Souls 3. I got uh, yeah. Hopefully, I can make a pretty good series out about it. It's a blind playthrough, so I like. It. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm still enjoying this game. Uh, let's see, we jump up here. Uh, I can't proceed, so we're going to the another path and see if we can find a key or something. I did see that you can slide down these ladders. I don't know how. All right, with R two. Apparently. All right. All right. You can walk on the ceiling here, and then first I want to go here. The ring of brilliance. What does that do? Illuminate surroundings. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it has the sunlight uh, mark like Dark Souls on its head. I don't want to compare it to Dark Souls, but the, the things are very similar. And yeah, I'm grinding for salt, so I'm still equipping the two rings. Let's see. What can we do here? Alright, this is the end for that. So let's go this way. Right, this is kind of trippy. <laughs> Jump. Uh, here. All right. I don't know where this is heading. Jump. Jump. Jump again. Is there an end to this, or... Oh, now you can get up here. No! Really? Arr. Oh, well. Oh, I could... No, no, no. That was stupid of me. Yes, it was. All right. Recover. You can't stop my hashing. Come on. Bam. I could have grabbed that item while falling down. Can I still get up there? Yes, I can. All right. Endless Fang times three. So yeah, let's do the obelisk again. Pick up the items. Hunting ribs. Sol soldier's poem. Nice. Free upgrade. So what's up here then? And uh, did I already go up here? I believe this leads back to the sanctuary, right? No, it doesn't. And this seems like a boss fight. I could try. No, wait, this does lead back to the sanctuary. Alright, now I'm, I now I know where I'm supposed to go, so I'm going back to the sanctuary just just for a quick bit. Let's go. Uh, get up there. Uh, get up there. Thank you. Sanctuary. Let's rest and get our potions back. Uh, yeah, let's level up. Just once. Then I'm gonna buy another thing for equipment burden. Let's fully upgrade this one. Right now, I should be able to equip a ship. Still not? How, how was that even possible? Oh, because I'm wearing gloves. Alright, now I can go with a shield. Alright, I upgraded the shield, right? No, I didn't. I'm going to upgrade the shield. Um, blue. The shield. Yes. Upgrade it. Mm. Just a simple shield. Yeah, I got it for quite some quite some time, so I'm uh, emotionally attached to the shield. Now. I always prefer to have like basic equipment and then upgrade it fully, instead of always switching to higher and newer gear. Sometimes the, the gap is just too large, then if you pick up a new equipment, it's even better than your upgraded equipment, but 
and then you can upgrade it at farther. Just what I did with uh, the double ganger set. I upgraded my steel uh, grievous first, and then uh, upgraded eventually. I prepared the upgrade so when I could wear it, I could instantly wear it, and then have it upgraded already. All right, all right, we're in good shape again. Pumpkinite goes forward again. Uh, hello. Oh, there are two of them. No, you come over here. You can see just a little sparks from uh, the lightning attack. The lightning damage that the, the charm does. Uh, sure. I have some time. Alright, let's go. Ugh. No! Crap, that was stupid. Yeah, that's nice, thank you. Alright, I didn't go here before. So I'm not going to. I'm going to head back where I was and do the obelisk part again and maybe uh, unlock a shortcut first. And I believe that was... That was... You know, I walk down here. Now I'm kind of lost. I didn't go through here, right? Hello? Yeah, those are, I mean, kind of hard to see, but... Rowan Crossier. I will check that in a moment. Let's first kill all these guys. Item. Infantry Poleaxe. Those were a couple of weapons, right? Yeah, Rowan Crossier. It's a staff. Alright. I don't know if magic is any cool in this game. I'm not able to use it, so I usually don't care about magic. Um, boss fight? No, it's a small sanctuary. Uh, torch, please. Is there anything here? There's smoke here. I don't know if I can. No. Nope. That's a strong nope. Thought maybe there was a hidden path, you never know, but apparently there wasn't. Well, it only cost me uh, 3600 gold, so that's fine. Alright, let's pick it up. Thank you. Alright, so. Uh, maybe I can go up there. You die. No, I am. Pop another torch. Was there something over here? Doesn't seem so. I thought the path here was what I walked upon, but apparently it wasn't. No, let's not fight them at the same time. No, two hand your weapon, stupid. Yeah, now I'm screwed. Yeah. Alright, two hand. Heal up. Thank you. Come on, die. 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 Yes. Ah, right. oh, an enduring skull. <gasps> These guys drop enduring skulls. I'm gonna upgrade my weapon. Oh, yeah. That feeling. Nice. I got another upgrade. The key to survival, people. Another upgrade. So yeah, I'm gonna run back again to the sanctuary. I know. I know. Uh, no, it's up here. It's even further up. Yeah. If your guys are gonna teleport all the way, I don't care. Yeah, what? Come here now. Asshole. Yeah. Sometimes it's just keep teleporting. Alright, dude. I'll upgrade this sword. Yes. Plus five, people. The Chitin Obelisk. Five. And now I need two Enduring Skulls. And with this, with this knowledge that these guys drop in, you, if you wanted to, I'm not gonna do it now, you can farm these guys, and uh, there's probably a ring that increases drop rate. No, there is someone you can summon the upgrades. 
I have three of them now. Grants Prayer's Potency, Block Bonus, Magic Potency Bonus. I believe one of these NPCs upgrades uh, drop rates from enemies. So if you uh, summon that NPC to the Sanctuary, you have a potential farming spot for upgrade materials for a transmuted weapon. I don't know if the other transmuted weapons uh, need other upgrade materials, but these spider-like things, these guys, they up, uh, they drop upgrade stones for this weapon in particular. So yeah, I'm happy. Hateful jawbone. Yeah, this is just brainless hacking what I'm doing now. Bam, they can't block this weapon anymore. A couple of items. Ouch, that almost cost me my life. Alright. Yeah, just for aesthetic sakes, I'm gonna switch back to fire. Alright, so we have to go down here. Yes, down here. Oh, wait. Yeah, right. Red shard. And then I'm gonna activate the obelisk again so we can pull the switch. Because it was here, right? Yeah. Or did I? No, wait, 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 wait. I'm stupid. Yeah, I walked down here before, but the path was... Uh, you come here by climbing, uh, walking on the ceiling already. Just before that. So, yeah. Now we have to walk back just one more time. Now I know where to go. Again. Run, run, run. Jump. And jump. We have to walk down here and then. So yeah, if you press R2 on the ladder, you can slide down or, oh well, like this. All right. I thought we came from down there, but I forgot about this little part. See, this is the path down, but you have to jump here first. So yeah, let's go down here, and then to the left. Then we can get up here. Yes! Item. No, you asshole, I didn't see him there. Alright. Pull the switch. And what does it do? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what it is. Maybe it opens up one of the gates, but... Ah, well. Now I have to walk around again. <laughs> Crap. Uh, let's drink a shard while we walk back to refill our life. Refill your life. So yeah, I'm, I'm wearing two uh, salt boosting rings, so that's why I'm getting uh, a, l a large amount of salt every time I kill an enemy. So I already got one level up again, and maybe even two. So yeah, this is just like Dark Souls. If you're stuck and you can't make it, really can't make it, then you can uh, grind and re let the enemies respawn every time. Get better in fighting them and do it over and over again. So yeah, we can go out there. I don't want to try something. If this fails, I'm gonna skip this part, but if it works, it's pretty cool. Because there is a path to the right here, which you can jump down here. And that just causes you to get stuck. No, I'm not stuck yet. But you just die on the ceiling, alright. Well, I just try. I tried. You know, I, I had to try. <clears throat> Alright, so we pulled a switch. And I believe it should... It should uh, unlock a gate or something. Let's use this salt. And... Now it's... I'm kind of wondering where my salt would have dropped. I 
think it's the obelisk again. I don't care. No, I don't have... Yeah. Come on. This is kind of annoying. These guys are way quicker. Alright, there's my soul. That's fine. Alright, bye-bye. Would you kindly drop another upgrade material for me, sir? Ah, oh well. I needed those items, apparently, to transmute my weapon anyway. Yeah, you can't block this. You're burning. Yeah! Alright. I'm loving the raw power of this weapon. I don't want to get hit by lightning. Oh, come on. Just freaking die. Heal up. Yeah, get parried, asshole. Thank you. Right, so we pulled this switch here. And... Let's see what we unlock. There was only an item there. Um, I don't think we have any use for the obelisk anymore here. Okay, I'm trying to find the thing that this lever unlocked. And maybe it's up here. In this gate? No, it's still locked. That's strange. Usually you hear a door opening or something like that, so that you know that you unlock something. But I didn't really think I could go up here. Well, I could go up here, but there was also a door that was locked. Oh well. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, all those stones are still... No, this is the same door. So yeah, I'm picking up, uh, picking up a decent amount of salt anyway, but uh, I want to go forward. Nice. Just square spamming. Alright, jump. Yes. Alright, now we are taking the path up. But first, but first, level up again. Three times, so oh, level 52 already. Nice. Uh, let's see, what do I want? I want another potion, actually. So yeah, just a little bit of whale power, maximum stamina. And then, yeah, I'm going over here for the heavy armor. So yeah, a little bit of endurance, a little bit more equipment load. I'm not using the shield at all at the moment, so maybe I should just unequip it and go with a little bit of extra armor. And hello, can you upgrade my armor already? I don't think I can. No. Well, I could, but I don't have enough salt, actually. <laughs> Well, uh, when we kill about one or two more enemies, we can upgrade. I want to go up there. So let's try and find a pathway up there. Or that we should just jump down from here, actually. It looks like it. Let's do it. Ugh. Hello. The Red Hole of Geisha should not be here. It should be in Ascaria. It's an infamous dungeon there, well known for its legacy of blood and misery. So why is it here? Even that castle we were just in, did it not remind you of Clodenkas in Kurkas? I've never seen it in a person actually, but I know enough about it to know that the castle did not belong here. Clodenkas, the Red Hole? These are near perfect replicas all together here. Is this the work of a mad architect? I wonder what this cave holds. Excuses are the lies we tell everyone we know, including ourselves. Alright. And what does this do? 
Well, it blocks me, but I can't seem to pass through it. All right. Well, uh, I hopefully we uh, set his quest in motion once again. So yeah, he's telling us that these places, these dungeons, and this castle uh, aren't originally from here, but that maybe something placed them here, something or someone. Let's first go up. We can always drop down. Bam. And bam. All right. And this is a dead end. No, it's not. It's a wall climbing section. Oh, it's here again. Hello. I I found him. My nobleman, I mean. I recognized his dress. I'd only seen him from afar before, but he, here he was, up close, dead. I cut his robe of a surge of jewels. You know what I found? I found a brand on his neck. They don't put brands on the necks of noblemen. No... Know who they put brands on the necks of? Slaves. A slave in a nobleman's dress. What's a slave doing in a nobleman's dress? If my nobleman was a slave, do you think your princess was as well? No. Perhaps I was wrong. The nobleman could have been kidnapped and branded and rescued and had his time to return to him. Unlikely, but not impossible. There's a dark purpose to me being stranded here, but I'm not foolish enough to see what it is. I'm done hunting treasure. I'll find savage craft to set with a skiff and sail to southeast. You know the place, Coast Rock. All right, and that's more dialogue. Her nobleman that she was trying to rescue, she found him, but she's wondering if he was a slave because he had a brand on his neck. And I believe uh, my ca my character, at least, uh, would not uh, accept a mission if the princess wasn't real. So to me, the princess is a real princess. Uh, So there are a couple of paths to take again. And this gate is closed. Like these gates, these, these levers uh, open these gates, but like I said before, I'll open one, but can I get up there? No. I don't know what that switch did, but that'll be the pondering of this episode. What a switch open? Did it open anything? So yeah, if you're if you're fast enough, you can stagger them to death. Pretty easy. A saber charm. That sounds like a life draining. Leech's focus. And I believe focus is meant for spells. Alright. Uh, that's it then. I'm just kind of wondering where will we encounter a boss. Hey, wait. We're back. We upgraded, uh, we had a shortcut here. And this is the place where we fought the Kraken. The Kraken Cyclops. So I do like the level design. It's really cool. I, I always like that levels uh, flow over into each other. But this doesn't solve my problem. Is there, was there a gate up there? No, it's just a gate that uh, went up there. All right. Alright, so this, that path doesn't lead us any further, so we have to go down. Down here, I believe. So yeah, hopefully we set those two NPCs quests in motion. And we just have to find another story-based uh, boss fight to probably have them even further. Um, let's see, there is an item up there, which I of course want. Yeah, that's her, and where was the item then? Alright, that was stupid of me, I could have just picked up the item the first time. Flame Guardian. Another spell. Alright, so... There was just one other path, I believe. There's an item here. A whistle bone charm. What does that do? Decreases stamina requirements for melee attacks. Oh, that's pretty nice. Every attack costs less stamina. That's pretty cool. Alright, you could have jumped down there and get this item too. 
Yeah, and I could fall down here on these enemies and then uh, have that invisible platforming section. Uh, Alright, let's go. Bam! Bam! Alright, equip torch. Come on. There's no path down. Oh, this is fair, Mega Man. Uh, yeah, let's see. These upgrade. Ones, two, one, two, three. And then I have to go up. Jump! Alright, made it. Stone Mage. Was it only really for just a charm? Oh, oh well. I'm going back to the sanctuary for now. And I don't know the way forward, and this episode is quite long already. So let's rest for now. And can I go to the right? I can, but the, there was only an item here, so. Let's see. So yeah, we went up, we went down, but we don't have a key. And I'm wondering if I'm missing some sort of boss fight or something. We don't have a minimap or something, do we? Yeah. Alright, let's try and find the way forward now. Uh, they dropped them out in here. Let's see, this is where we came from with the boss fight, right? Hello. Bye. I don't think we did, actually. So there is... Hey, asshole. Wait, there are more of the assholes. Yeah, where did I stumble upon? Uh, hello. No, get over here. Get over here. Yes, thank you. A cellar key. Ugh. What the hell? Spider. <laughs> right, I just... Me. Uh, there are more spiders. <laughs> I want to look at my inventory. I want to read the description. Frozen locket, drop spider tusk. There are more of them. Boy, boy, she's great shield. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, screw you guys. Eat my fire. All right, can I read the description now? Maybe I do have the key now. Uh, look, key, cellar key. Used to open what used to be a cellar. Well, that's kind of pointless. All right, so uh, apparently I walk into a direction I haven't been in. I am not going to say the right direction because I don't know that, but let's see where this leads to. And hopefully it leads to the right way. Alright, so this leads back up here. Um, I have a cellar key now. Maybe it is the key that I need. I'm just going to check there was a path to the right even more. And I now have a key. Yeah, it's the key. Alright. A Warhorn. And let's see, maybe this is an... Uh, Indiana... Well, that's... Uh, are there more of, all of those boulders? A symbol of effluence. And that is... Increased gold find rate. So yeah, if you're... <laughs> if you ever run out of gold, here you go. So if you really want to grind... Then uh, you can equip these two rings. I have two because I equip one as a starting gift. And then uh, also... Uh, I want to get up there. Can I get up there? And then also equip that gold ring. And then you are set for grinding. Is there a path up here? Can I get up there? Uh, yes, I can. Thank you. Ah, uh, this looks like a boss fight. Let's unequip the Warhorn, because I don't need it now. Uh, I don't have a shield equipped, of course. No, we're going all in. I have no idea if this is a boss fight or not, but... It isn't. <laughs> False alarm guy. Grey Pearl. Uh, what does a Grey Pearl do? Was it a respec or something like that? 
Oh yeah, the Bohemian Great Shield. Equip. Yes. Oh. Yeah, pretty decent looking. It's pretty cool. Alright. Hey, it's her again. So did I just accidentally walk into the straight line? Or is she willing to fight me now? Uh, let's first see the Grey Orb. Uh, I probably had one before. Yes, I have two. Weightless Great Strong. Use Grey Pearls at the altar to remove abilities. The removal process causes the Grey Pearl to become a Black Pearl. So you can remove uh, those. You're not fighting me, right? Hello. I'm Minty Skell, but some call me Devil Skell, the filler scourge of the red. So this is another character. They just look a little bit similar. You can just call me Mints. Hello, Mints. Some people shrink in veins, and I thrive on it. There are two types of people: in harvesters and plants. I'm a harvester. What are you? I'm a harvester too. But good enough. Prove it. Are you a harvester? Um. Yes. I harvest a bunch of nice things to sell. Perhaps we could help each other out. Yes. A pouch of salt. Oh, she's got upgrade materials. She's got a soldier's poem. Memory can be used to buy blacksmith to upgrade weapons. Let's buy uh, a couple of everything. I don't know why, but let's just do it. I picked up a frozen lock from one of the spiders, I believe. And I haven't seen these yet. Like I said, I can always grind for uh, more salt if I wanted to. Alright. And... Yeah. Alright. Talk. Have you read about the treasure on this island? It's buried deep, deep down. Alright. Alright. Stay icy. Alright. And this is the end of this area. So yeah, if I didn't give her the air, then maybe she wouldn't have sold me those items. And now I got a couple of items, so... Yeah, well... I already got my weapon. I'm just gonna... Yeah, well... You might as well try some NPC things. So yeah, let's see if the cellar door works on some other doors here. It could be. And then... I have found my way forward. So yeah, there wasn't anything down here. No. Let's just quickly... No, don't wall jump. Let's, let's, qu let's just quickly go up and then see if this key has any function here in this area. But as I am close to the sanctuary again, I'm gonna rest there. Just to fill up everything and see if I can upgrade anything. Alright, done. Wait, uh, make an offering. I had a color. No, I still have the same. Alright. Uh, these. I am. Just a couple hundred of sold, and I don't care. Alright. Upgrade this, no. Upgrade this, I can't upgrade it. That, I don't have any items for that. No, no, I could upgrade this. I'm gonna do it. I'm probably sticking to this set. I don't know how far in the game I really am, but. And I'm not gonna upgrade the shield, but I'm gonna sell, sell some weapons. Uh, I've got two of these, and i got a lot of these, and oh well, I'm not going to save the rest. Alright. Alright, let's try this door. Yes, it's working. Alright, so we got two paths now. I don't don't remember where the other one was. It was up top, but somewhere, but I'll I'll find it again. Uh let's heal up. Let's see, I picked up 
this? A pitch fire? Is that like a f it sounds like a firebomb. Pitch fire. Apply to your weapon, add fire damage to your attacks. Alright. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go. This is a boss fight. The Dizzle Bowel Husk. Alright, so we can end the episode with a boss fight, dude. Alright. Oh, boy. he has a shotgun. Oh, oh, well, I'm dead. Uh, I should probably equip a shield for those attacks. Alright, let's get a little bit more prepared, even. Let's unequip. Increase endurance, reduces wounding effect, that's fine. Increase defensive fire. And this is regenerate. Increase your defense to arcane. Okay, increases your defense against arcane. Maybe that that weapon. I'm gonna regenerate HP. And then this one decreases stamina, increases attack reach, increases attack speed. Let's go with a little bit of speed. All right, because I'm applying a weapon buff, so that charm doesn't really affect it so much. Not for here, anyway. Alright, so I'll see you guys again at the boss fight. Alright, round three. Let's go. Heal up, switch, block. Alright, that was that was decent. Switch, block. Switch. Block. Yes, that was perfect. And easy. A little bit of preparation and an overpower weapon with a weapon buff. Alright, perfect. Nice. Vanquished. The cave. You earned the trophy. There's still one door with the Savakito open. This about helps though, and a spiked key. Spiked key. A bronze key, simple save for a ring adornment in spikes. It resembles a ship's wheel, just a bit more dangerous. So is there a door here? No. Seems to be a dead end. Well, that was a pretty nice way to end the episode, and a pretty nice boss fight. Let's just go back. Fire. And let's uh, level up to end the episode. Level up to level 55. No sold remaining, well, 200 sold remaining. Not much. Let's see, we were heading towards heavy armor. Can I upgrade it? No. Alright, I get more, just a little bit more endurance. And then one more strength, one more strength. No, a little bit more endurance. Just to have that equip burden. Uh, I don't need my attack speed now. Let's switch back to fire. Let's switch back to more salt. Uh, more salt even. Getting back to my just my standard uh, set and build. Can I? When I have the shield, I'm at 69.8 of 75 and a half. 75 and a half. Wait, can I? 71.1. Yes, I can. I can wield the shield and still have my equipment. That's pretty cool. Alright, this was a decent cavern run. A little bit long, but still awesome. I encountered another boss fight. I do have the cellar key and the spiked key now, so I can open another door. And I believe it was somewhere up. And as you can see, I finished the boss fight and that NPC continued on next to his next location. We'll try and find him again, but that's for the next episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Pumpkin Night out. Bye-bye.